Hello, welcome to today's class. Okay, today's class, we're going to be talking about the concept of work. Okay, so what's the term? What does the term work mean to you? And uh, in, in a just ordinary conversation, you can say work means simply a student reading his working or maybe an official person, people employed, they're in the office on their laptop, you say, oh, that person is also working. But in physics, work has a different separate meaning. And work is in, in physics is defined to be done whenever a force moves a body through a certain distance in the direction of the force and is equal to the product of force and the distance moved okay let me show you some pictures of uh, when work it's like in, to illustrate in physics the meaning of work okay so work can be likened to let's say this little boy here pulling his cart okay so work is said to be done because he applies a force to move this particular body through a distance or when a car moves you can see this car a, a gentleman traveling he's taking some particular that this is a body and the car moves it with a particular force that's the engine which is that the force of the car moves it at a particular word distance so whereby you have your work that's your w is equal to your force times your s which is what the distance covered all right and this is in the direction of the force here the direction of the force is this boy here so the direction of the force is this way since the boy is pulling the cart and here this car traveling the direction of the force is what this way so work is equal to what f times s which is f is equal to our force and s is equal to what distance in the direction of the force okay and the si unit for work what's the si unit for work the si unit for work is what is measured in what calculated in joules okay where you can have kilojoules and also mega joules all right and so from this we can say that one joule is the work done when a force of one newton you know force is measured in what newtons moves a distance of one meter okay let me spell out the meter for you here of one meter okay so that's when that is what a one joule of work so it's done when a force of one newton moves a distance of what one meter okay there are some cases where you can have a force which is inclined at an angle okay let's look at that in our next slide now in this scenario the force is inclined at an angle theta to the what displacement okay where you see maybe a, a boy ties this particular box and lifts it up with a particular force you can see it is it, it ties with the rope and lifts it up with a particular force so the force will be at an what angle to the displacement okay where you have let me draw this this is our box okay and it moves it up with this particular force which is in newtons and it is at an angle to the displacement okay this is our distance covered which is in what s is in what meters okay so we have to what resolve the component of this force in the direction resolve this one so our work done will be this resolve component multiplied by what the distance covered that's the displacement so how do we resolve this component if you if you remember in uh, your right hand um, triangle in maths that's your pythagoras um, theorem where this is this is a hypotenuse this is a adjacent and this is also what the opposite okay to get this particular side we are going to apply our car our car that's what cost that's our cost 
okay, which is what? Car is equal to, that's our cos theta, is equal to what? Our adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay, hypotenuse. Okay, so where we are looking for what? Our adjacent. And our adjacent would be what? Hypotenuse times cos theta. And what are hypotenuse? Our hypotenuse is what? The force. Okay, so where we have what? F cos theta. Therefore, as I said earlier, our work done would be this resolved component, this resolved component, the, for, the re, first resolved component multiplied by our distance covered. So work done will be equal to what? F cos theta times S. Okay, so this is how you find the work done when the force is what inclined at an angle to the displacement. So this is what F cos theta. Okay, so this is how you look for the work done on uh, <clears throat> when the force is what inclined at an angle. Okay, so let's try to look check how to get the work done in a force field. Okay. Let's go to the next slide here. Okay, now this is just a summary of what, just what I said, that the force is inclined at an angle theta to the displacement. Thus, the work done is the resolved component of the force in the direction of displacement multiplied by the displacement. Okay, so you can see how easy that is. So let's go to how to get the work done in a force field. So let's clear the screen here. Okay. So now, how do we get the work done in a, in a force field? Now, a force field can be likened to what the Earth's gravitational field. Now, this is the Earth here. Okay. Now, in the Earth's gravitational field, there's always a force that pulls a body towards the center of the earth that's why whenever you throw something up it always comes down that is what your what gravitational field all right and here we define the weight of a body as the force of attraction on the body due to the earth's gravitational field that is the weight what acts downward all right so for instance if you lift the load through a height Let's take this picture here. If you lift a load through a height, let's say a crane lifts a load through a height, what? H. Okay? A pulling force must be applied to overcome the weight of this body. Okay? This body has a weight. So a pulling force must be applied to overcome the weight. Since the Earth's gravitational force is always pulling a body down. Therefore, when an object is lifted vertically upwards this let's say this box is lifted vertically upwards okay work is done against the force of gravity you know a body there's always a force of gravity pulling it down this weight there's always something pulling it down which is what the gravitational field of the earth so work is done when you are pulling this thing vertically upwards, work is always done against the force of gravity. And the magnitude of work done, W, is equal to what? Force times your distance. Where our force here will be what? Mg. And our distance is what? The height covered. That's the height pulling the body vertically upwards. Where M is equal to what the mass of the body and is measured measured in what kg and g is equal to what acceleration due to gravity it's always constant due to gravity and g is given as what 10 m s raised to power what one that's meter per second uh, meter per second okay and h is what our uh, what height and is measured in what meters okay so our work done is giving us what mg 
H. So when you encounter a question that involves walking under the force of gravity, okay, that's a body, you're pulling a body up or a body is falling down. That is when a body falls under gravity. Let's say you have a boy here on a cliff, okay, and he throws down a stone. Okay, this is what fall under gravity. So when you have something falling under gravity also, the work done is still what? M equal to um, W is equal to what? M, G, H. Okay, so this is all for the concept of work. In our next video, we shall treat several past questions on WIAC and JAM on the topic, the concept of work. Thank you. See you in our next class. Bye.